Hello, this is the Meta Man telling you something fascinating about Vivi. What the heck is Vivi? But before I go on, I want you to know that you may not be interested in Vivi. So why don't you just go right here and click on that link in order to learn about one of my favorite metaverse coins, Axie Infinity. It's the biggest one and therefore you need to know about it. But if you're still here, it's because you want to know about Vivi and you want to know about NFTs. So let me explain NFTs first. I'm a really good teacher and I can explain it very, very easily. First of all, NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's a big word, but I can make it really simple for you. Let's look at the word fungible. Fungible means the same, interchangeable. And so let me give you some examples of things that are interchangeable. If I have a dollar bill and you have a US dollar bill, they're the same. If we both go to a store and want to buy something for a dollar, the merchant isn't going to prefer your dollar over my dollar because they're interchangeable. Another thing that's interchangeable is shares on a stock market. If I buy 100 shares of Tesla and you buy 100 shares of Tesla, they're exactly the same. They're interchangeable. They're the same as anyone else who has 100 shares of Tesla. So that's an example. Those are examples of fungible interchangeable, the same as everyone else's. Now let me give you an example of non-fungible, not interchangeable, and therefore unique. So let's say you have a child and your oldest child is your daughter. Your daughter is not the same as any other young lady. She's not. If your daughter leaves or your daughter passes away, then you can't say, oh, I'll get an identical daughter somewhere else. No, there's no one identical to your daughter or your son. There's no one identical to your mother or your father. There's no one identical to your uncle. There's no one identical to the policeman. It's not that all policemen are the same. Each one is unique and completely different. So a non-fungible example is a rare coin or a very rare stamp. If I own a very rare stamp, and there's only, let's say, seven in the whole world, then you might say, well, they're interchangeable. But no, because my rare stamp is slightly more worn or slightly in better condition, or it doesn't have a tear or it does have a tear. And so each rare stamp is non-fungible. And by the way, every single piece of real estate in the whole world is non-fungible. It is completely unique and different from every other piece of real estate, even condos in a tall condo tower. You might say, well, condos, if two units are the same style, then they should be exactly the same. But no, one of those same style condos might be on the fifth floor, and the other one might be on the 30th floor. The one on the 30th floor will cost more. The one that faces north will probably be not as desirable as one that faces south and gets the sun. One that faces the east might have a beautiful view of the city, and the other that faces the west may not have a nice view. Maybe there's some industry that it overlooks. And so every single piece of real estate, even if you think they're the same, are not the same. Pieces of real estate are non-fungible. And now let me give you a fascinating example of NFT. I think you'll really like this one. Recently, Sand, my favorite metaverse coin, the Sandbox, had a sale of all 166,000 of its lands. Now, what they call a land, you and I would call a parcel of land. So 166,000 parcels or pieces of real estate, and they'll never produce any more. That's the land. That's the totality. And one of them, in a really wonderful location, was purchased by the iconic, famous rapper Snoop Dogg. And Snoop Dogg is right now building a digital mansion on his land. And you might say, how long can it take to build a digital mansion? It's just, in, it's just digital. You could just do it in an instant. Well, it takes a little while to design it and create it and to render it. And when it's done, he's going to have a party, an open house, just like you and I would have an open house, but he's going to have a digital open house for his digital mansion on his digital land in the metaverse coin sandbox. Are you following all this? This is really funny. And he's issuing tickets. And each golden ticket 
is going to be an NFT, which means each one is unique. And why is it unique? You might say, well, if I have a ticket and someone else has a ticket, then, then they're the same. No. You see, if you purchase a ticket from Snoop Dogg or get given one, it's going to have his name on it, Snoop Dogg. It's going to have his mansion name on it. He might have a name for his mansion and it'll have his address in the sandbox land and it'll have your name in it and it'll have the date, the date and the time, which means that you have the right to enter his mansion. You only, not anyone else. You only have the right to enter his mansion on that date at that time in that land on the sandbox. And no one else does. You can't, you can't trade it with somebody else because theirs will have their name, Sally or Bill on it. And so it's completely unique. You will have a completely unique token, an NFT. You might say, well, if all it does is admit me to the mansion, then it kind of expires at sunsets. But no, you own it. You'll show it to get into the mansion. And you might say, how do I get into a digital mansion? Well, your avatar in the metaverse. You can be dressed up as a squid. You could be dressed up as an elephant. You could be dressed up as one of my friends, Mickey Mouse here. And you'll be admitted into it. But then it's your ticket. It's your NFT ticket. And you could sell it to somebody else as an investment afterwards, because if there's only going to be a thousand tickets and there's only going to be one open house to that mansion, then that ticket might go up in value. Strange, fascinating, NFT. Wow. So you now know what NFT stands for. Non-fungible, that means completely unique, token. Now, what is an example of a non-fungible token? Well, Vivi shattered the world, exploded the world, made a big, big scene when this month, November 9th, this month, maybe you don't want to know anymore, but you still like me. So instead of just leaving or instead of just dragging it out and watching a few more minutes of this, why don't you go to this link right here and learn about Axie Infinity, one of my favorite metaverse coins, or maybe you don't want to go there. So why don't you go here and learn about My Neighbor Alice, another one of my three favorite metaverse coins. No, nope, maybe you don't want that. Well, then why don't you go here and go to my all-time favorite metaverse coin, Sandbox, and learn more about that. But if you're still here, it's because now that you know about NFT, you want to know what's the big deal about Vivi. Why is everyone so excited about Vivi? Well, Vivi is not a coin. It is an app. It's an app on your phone. And all you do is download it. It's completely free. And you join very easily, just an email address and a password that you make up. And then you can see what's available. And they have five different levels of rarity of their NFT coins. Common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare and elusive, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and elusive. And of course you pay more for the more rare it is. But what do you get? Well, you can get an NFT token of an 007, a, an, a picture of 007, or there, there are several men that have been actors for the different 007 character, and there'll be NFTs for each one of them, but also NFTs for different 007 movies and NFTs for the Avengers. Like my favorite is Iron Man. I could get an NFT of Iron Man or an NFT of Batman or an NFT of Superman. And maybe there'll be different Supermans. In fact, there's many different Supermans in different positions, and you can buy whichever one you want. And when you buy it, you own it. It goes from the digital world out there somewhere in the crypto sphere. It goes to you. You actually can't hold it in your hands because it's digital, but you own it and no one else owns it. And it's completely yours. You might say, well, why would I buy it? I, I don't even know what the heck it is. Well, there's two reasons. And this is really important. Number one reason is because it might go up. It's an investment like real estate or a rare coin or a cryptocurrency. 
it may go up. So that's one reason. But the really deeper reason, the really, really deeper reason is that you want to learn what this NFT thing is all about. Like if you owned a horse in 1903 and Henry Ford said, I have a thing called an automobile, you may just want to know about it. You may want to watch it going down the road. You may want to sit in it as a passenger. You may want to learn how to drive it. You may just want to know what's coming. So why do I have these two Mickeys here? Why am I co-hosting this event? I have uni hosted all of my meta pioneer videos so far. Why am I co-hosting it with these two delicious little Mickeys? And the answer is because Vivi shocked the world on November 9th, not that long ago, by hosting a sale of Disney tokens. Yes, you could buy a gold statue of the man himself, Walt. Or you could buy a gold statue of the mouse himself, Mickey. Or you could buy a gold statue of the mouse herself, Minnie, or Goofy, or whoever you wanted. It's all available. Imagine Vivi has collaborated with Mighty Disney in order to offer its NFT coins. So Vivi got huge press, Disney got huge press, and NFTs got more known. So if you're interested, then you may want to download the app. If you're interested, you may want to buy coins that offer NFTs. And by the way, almost all of the Metaverse coins do offer NFTs. So, so Mickey and I have something really important to say to you right now. Hello, and thank you for listening to that exciting video. Now, click on Meta in order to subscribe so that other people will enjoy it too. And click right here to enjoy my previous video and click right there in to enjoy the video about SAND, my favorite crypto metaverse coin.